Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hi, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with an unboxing for you all. This is from Diamond Art Club and is actually one of their recent mystery kit releases. So there are going to be spoilers galore in this video. So make sure that you take a look at which one I'm gonna be unboxing. Um, this is the mystery kit in the category fantasy dragon and it's from the artist Stanley Morrison. So if you have this kit or are going to try to buy this kit and you do not want to have everything up to and including the original artwork spoiled for you, please, 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 please click away. I do not want to ruin the mystery for anyone, but I know that there are some people that really enjoy seeing mystery canvases unboxed ahead of time. So um, especially after I saw this particular kit and category, I was like, yeah, this will be the one. <laughs> so let me really quickly, before we get into this, I just want to touch on a little bit of mystery kit etiquette. If you are working on a mystery and if you are sticking around to watch this video, Video. <laughs> so some general mystery kit etiquette is that you do everything that you can to avoid spoiling things for other people. That doesn't mean you can't post progress pictures, um, but I encourage you to be really intentional and cautious about where you're posting those. So for example, there is a Facebook group um, that is dedicated entirely to the Diamond Art Club mystery kits where you can feel free to post your progress pictures and know that it's okay if there are spoilers there but i think even there they have guidelines for like nest your pictures in the comments and things like that so that if that's a mystery kit that someone is, hasn't worked on yet or something just make sure you read those rules and then if you're posting on some place like instagram just on your public profile please 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 avoid putting spoilers on that first slide or in the description honestly i try to nest my progress pictures of mystery kits behind like five spoiler slides because it just it's just so easy for it to accidentally get spoiled otherwise so I just encourage you to do everything that you can not to spoil the fun for other people. Um, I'm having a lot of fun working on a mystery kit right now, not this one, that I managed to keep a complete surprise for myself and it has been magical. Like the epitome of what I think Diamond Art Club wants these mystery kit um, experiences to be like for us, where all I knew was the artist and the theme and I covered up the whole canvas. On top of the plastic paper, I put a layer of, of the plastic cover, I put a layer of uh, dark brown crafting paper and taped it down so that I didn't even see the rendering and it's been revealed to me one square at a time and you guys it has been so much fun doing it that way and I found that even if it weren't artwork that I otherwise would have chosen for myself which to be honest it is but even if it weren't just the process of working on it this way is really fascinating okay enough about all of the sort of <laughs> that initial stuff all those disclaimers let's get into this kit so this is going to be a square drill diamond painting kit diamond art club uses lots of blue branding for their square drill kits all of the mystery kits are going to be squares because as you'll see the drill field is all black and white and if there were round drills instead of squares we would see that white background around all of the diamonds and it would look a little bit odd so all of your mystery kits at least from diamond art club are going to be squares <laughs> on the back you're gonna have info about how to diamond paint and the kit contents and then here on the side is a qr code that you can use for a discount 10 percent off of your purchase from diamond art club you will see lots of discount codes everywhere. I actually have an affiliate code for 20% off your first purchase that I'll have down in the description, just in case. But I have a feeling that maybe a mystery kit might not necessarily be your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club, but what do I know? Maybe you just dive in head first. <laughs> More power to you if that is the case. Now I know Diamond Art Club is pretty strict on all of the packaging and the branding and everything um, to try to prevent us from having the mystery spoiled for us. Um, but I think if you look at the rendering, you might see it. Now they did start including these cards in their kits about mystery kits. Um, you can pause and read this if you're curious, but they do remind you about some mystery kit etiquette, especially in the VIP Facebook group and that kind of thing. And just tell you a little bit more about what their hope and intent is behind the mystery kits. So that's really neat. I appreciate that. <laughs> the mystery kits are here to stay. They are not going anywhere. I think that we're just going to continue to see more and more regularly, which I love. 
Now here we have a toolkit and here's gonna be everything you need to do your diamond painting. It looks like this is the newer version of the toolkit. There are a couple of versions floating around out there. I have to imagine that most of the mystery kits are gonna come with the newer one but it's not a guaranteed thing. Whether you get the old or the new one, it's gonna come with everything you need to do your diamond painting. These newer ones come with just a couple extra bonus goodies. So you're gonna get a pen and squishy. The color may vary on those. If it's a square drill diamond painting kit, you're gonna get a pair of tweezers like these. They are sharp, so be sure you keep that cover on when you're not using them. We have a couple of these thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we have a clear plastic tray with some gold sparkles. There's a couple of versions of this floating around out there as well. And it comes with a tray stopper that'll help prevent diamonds from sliding out the end while you're working out of it. You're also gonna get a caddy with a couple of plates of pink heart wax. Now, I always like to remind people to take off that thin plastic cover before you go to try to load up your pen. And then we get a bag of baggies. You can use these for kitting up into or storing your leftover diamonds that you want to save. These last two things are really the biggest wild cards. This is a cover minder and this is a roll of washi tape. A cover minder has magnets on the back. You can slide the one off and then you can take this and slide it under the canvas of the area you're working on, peel back the plastic cover, set that part on top and it's gonna hold back the plastic cover for you. Then you have your roll of washi tape. I like to use this to cover up the border of my canvas where there's sometimes a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas into smaller sections to work on. I have a whole video dedicated to that if you're curious. So if you do get the cover winder and the, the cover minder and the washi tape in your toolkit, it varies exactly what print and style you're going to get. So like I said, I think of those as nice bonuses. Here is a smaller sticker. Again, it just has the name of the artist and the theme of this kit. It also has the size and the diamond shape. So this is gonna be 70 by 89 centimeters or 27.6 by 35 inches. And we just have the question mark. <laughs> That's all of the quote original artwork we're going to get. Everything else is gonna be in here in this branded plastic bag or dust cover for that extra layer of protection. You guys, this mystery canvas is a big one, a big one. <laughs> now, I wanna go ahead and give you one last, one last chance to kinda click away, I suppose. I'm not even gonna say minimize the window because you're gonna hear audio spoilers as well. I'm gonna talk in detail about what I'm seeing on the canvas, pointing out different elements, giving specific colors. So this is really, this is your last chance to not have this spoiled for you. What you see on the rendering and what I'm gonna talk about is going to spoil what is on this canvas for you. So for those of you that are sticking around to see what we have here, let's take a look. Like I said, I'm also gonna show the original artwork to you later, but you guys. Okay, can you kind of start to make out some of that shape there? There's our little dragon friend. Now again, this is by Stanley Morrison and I actually just, just yesterday you would have seen a sneak peek from me of another one of his dragons, Tea Dragon. He has a lot of these really stylized dragons, lots of different themes. This one in particular, I will go ahead and I will, I'm gonna tell you the name of it. So this is sideways now, but here, let me put it right side up because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this to you here and I'm gonna pop up the original artwork so you can kind of see how it looks. So, man frame there, okay. So you can kind of make out the shape of the dragon's face here and his body and some of the wings here. Do you notice that he has almost a little bit of a, dare I say, a rubber ducky shape? You guys, let me pop up the original artwork here. The name of this piece is Rubber Ducky Dragon. Oh my gosh, is that not so adorable? I love it so, 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 so much. Now, if you're wondering how did I know what the name of the original artwork is, I happened to see it on the listing. They, on the second page, they had a picture of the canvas and the name was on there. They've since removed it and they're trying not, to, that was an accident. They didn't mean to do that. I just happened to check and I was okay with having this spoiled for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, a rubber ducky dragon. <laughs> I love it so, 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 so much. So now you know what the original artwork is going to be. 
really stinking adorable is what it's going to be. But let me also go ahead and show you what else is included. So you're gonna get an, a pamphlet, a little thank you pamphlet. Um, it has some other info in it, including what's included in your kit, a link to a step-by-step -step video. I also have a beginner's video if you're curious. A link to the Facebook group, the VIP Facebook group. Just a reminder, do not post your mystery uh, kit progress in that group. But please do join that group for lots of fun community and other fun tips and tricks and behind the scenes stuff from Diamond Art Club themselves. Here we go with more step-by-step -step instructions, some more tips and tricks, along with another discount code for you guys. On the back, these QR codes will take you to the mobile app on your respective device, and you will actually get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Like I said, discount codes everywhere. Diamond Art Club does not want you to pay full price. <laughs> Here we have a large sticker sheet. Even this has nothing revealed about the artwork itself. Mystery kit, fantasy, dragon. Can we talk about how, I feel like they basically marketed this directly to me. <laughs> I was like, literally, fantasy and dragon are in the category name. Were they just like, let's get Katie. Let's let's get her with this kit. I, she's not gonna be able to resist. And they were totally right. Uh, a spot to write your start and end date. Diamond shape square and the size there. And then over here is a, set of pre-cut sticker sheets for you. Um, these are all in black and white, like I said, since it's a mystery canvas. There are 55 colors and the color code is the same as the DMC color code. So that's a color code that's used in lots of like stitching and floss. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB diamond. So I will be sure to tell you all about those when we're actually looking at the kit. I did want to make a suggestion though about the symbols and how you organize them. Um, because they're all in black and white, sometimes that can make for just a little bit more work for our brain because we don't have colors to help us kind of sort through them really quickly, especially with 55 different colors. I have completed, almost completed two mystery kits from Diamond Art Club. And what I have found to be really helpful is to sort all of the symbols in my tray according to like I put all the numbers together, then I put all the letters together. I put all the symbols that have dots in them together. I put anything that has arrows or pointing, you know, directions together. Just basically tried to organize them in such a way that when I'm looking at the canvas, find a symbol in black and white and I go, okay, the letter L, I just go to my section that has letters and find the letter L. I have them in alphabetical order, so it's even easier. That has been immensely helpful. Um, typically, I don't organize my diamonds by symbol. I just leave them in DMC order and my brain sort of gets used to where those symbols are. And I have the colors, like the background colors on the symbols to help me. But in this case, I'm like, let me do whatever I can to make this a little easier on myself. Let me take you on just a little quick tour of the canvas. So up here at the top, we've got the branding. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The back is really soft and almost almost velvety not quite but the material of the canvas itself is very sturdy but also very malleable the edges are scalloped and finished you're not gonna have to worry about fraying i do see a couple little almost look like fraying spots here but it's just where like the machine didn't cut perfectly cleanly that literally like, i'm trying to pull on it and nothing has happened nothing <laughs> nothing is going to happen with those you have a legend over here on the left, but again, I'm gonna recommend organizing your drill containers or your storage in such a way that it helps you kind of find the symbols more easily. Do your brain a favor. <laughs> over here at the bottom right, we have another legend. Then at the bottom left, here's all the information about the kit itself. There's no thumbnail because again, it's a mystery. Mystery kit, fantasy dragon the size, and then the artist. So even though this is a mystery kit, Stanley Morrison through Tate Licensing did give permission for the use of this artwork by Diamond Art Club and is being fairly compensated for the use of this artwork. So I'm all about shouting out companies like Diamond Art Club that are doing right by artists. So there we go. Here at the bottom, you have links to Diamond Art Club social media info. Follow along there, especially for future mystery kit releases. And at the bottom right, info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty. So that will take care of if you ever have any issues with the diamonds, with the canvas, anything at all, they will get you taken care of. Looking at the symbols themselves, it's a little harder for me looking at this to tell right off the bat, like how much confetti and color blocking we're going to have 
Color blocking is when we have sections that it's a lot of the same color in an area. So like here we have a bunch of this black dot symbol. You'll be able to multi-place through some of that and that color will be in your tray for longer. Here we have like a bunch of this U symbol. Uh, so there's some color blocking in here. Those sections tend to go a little bit more quickly. Sorry, this is a large canvas. This is a little unwieldy to, <laughs> to maneuver around and share with you guys. Uh, but there is a good amount of confetti as well. Confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small section. Those areas tend to go a little bit slower because you're changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often. You are mostly single placing and yeah, I like a good mix of both in my paintings. <laughs> Here's the dragon's body over here. Let me see if we can get the, the way that they've done the symbols. It's a little harder to get like a really good sense for what his face is going to look like, but you did get to see that original artwork earlier. It looks like we have some bubbles maybe going on in here. And you see that kind of like round shape in the symbols. This is why when I worked on my last mystery kit and I didn't want to know anything about the image, I had to put something on top of this clear plastic cover because I knew that if I looked at the rendering, I would pick out patterns. Like you can see that this is a waterfall, you know? Um, and I was like, I just, I'm going to be able to tell too much about it. So I recommend if you are working on a mystery kit, probably not this one because it's been revealed to you. If you are working on a mystery kit and you really don't want to, ha to have that artwork revealed to you or know anything about it, have a friend or a family member <laughs> open up the box for you, take out the canvas and use something like release paper or like I said, I just used a roll of packing paper. You could use wrapping paper, you could do anything just to put it on top of the plastic cover. Don't put it directly on the canvas unless it's release paper, which is safe to go on the canvas, but I just taped it on top of the plastic cover um, and then that kind of hid the image from me. So anyway, let's take a look at these colors. Do you, do you see the yellow in here for our rubber ducky? <laughs> but we do have the name of the kit here so you can match it up easily later. If you store these separate from the canvas outside of the box they come in. All right, so look at these beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh my goodness, I love it. So we're gonna take a look at these together and see what some of the beautiful colors in this kit are going to be. So right off the bat, we just have these two bags by themselves of 415. Definitely getting just a tiny, tiny odor from, from the bags or, or something. I've noticed that with a couple of Diamond Art Club kits lately. I should message them and let them know. Um, it, it disperses really quickly, but I still, I'll let them know. So we've got 807, 775, 783. Look at these yellows. Does that not look like a rubber ducky yellow? Like, oh my gosh, it's so fun. 728. One, two, three bags of 823. It's a really deep blue. Now Diamond Art Club started manufacturing their drills in house about a year ago maybe a little less. And the new square diamonds in particular are so, 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 so good. They're really consistent in size and quality. And so they're just such a joy to diamond paint with. 803, two bags of 3371. Now, while Diamond Art Club did start manufacturing both their round and square drills in house, um, it's easiest I find to tell the difference with the squares. All of their new square diamonds are going to have 13 facets cut on the top. Their uh, old ones will have a mix of 9 and 13. Are you guys loving all these shades of blue and aqua and even green? 37.60. Ooh, a bright bag of orange. I love that pop against the blue. Some grays and greens. 37.56. Some more oranges. 740, 741. Probably in our rubber ducky dragon. 906, 702. Again, this kit has 55 colors, so you got a lot to go through here. 310, 307. That is bright, bright yellow. Okay, no, I lied. The other color was a good yellow. This is like rubber ducky yellow. <laughs> 433. I wonder when we're going to hit our first AB. Beautiful shades of blue. A couple of bags of 3809. Here is, it heard me talking, our first AB diamond, 141. 
AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you take a look, these diamonds have this really amazing and super sparkly iridescent coating on the top. Um, that's what gives these diamonds their name. Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, has this really beautiful shimmery and iridescent effect, and so do the tops of these diamonds. The areas they've been charted are just gonna sparkle even more, and um, it's gonna dry your eye to those areas and even pick up a little bit of the colors around it as well. So that's our first one. Some blues and browns, 301839. Pretty kind of chartreuse, 907. Some reds, 498, 900, 841, 820. Pretty buttery yellow here. And then our second AB, 135. This one is like an, I don't want to say pukey green, I'll say chartreuse. <laughs> but it's like a yellow olive green color, kind of a subtle iridescent coating on the top. 413, 317, 154, 796. And yay, we do get a yellow AB in our rubber ducky dragon. So 129 is a pretty buttery yellow AB, really pale yellow. That's our third and final AB. And the last of our diamonds here, some purples, a little bit of beige. So I am going to attempt, I'm gonna attempt to find our symbols that have our ABs, one, two, and three. So number one, now I gotta double check you guys because there's no color backgrounds to give me a hint. Number one is gonna be our pale buttery yellow. Number two is gonna be our chartreuse green. Number three is gonna be our white. So let me start at the bottom, see what I can find and do my best guess with what I think uh, is the part of the artwork that has these ABs. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that our dragon is gonna have some of those pale yellows, but let's... Let's see what we can find. So at number three, the white is over here. I wanna say that this is kind of, um, I think there's some water over here. <laughs> I'm just realizing a little bit how silly it is to try to find out where the ABs are gonna go when I, looking at the image, I don't know exact, or looking at the rendering, I don't know exactly what's where. Um, there's a little bit of white here. This is like on the, um, front of the dragon, like the chest of the dragon, there's some of the, oh, sorry, that's the pale buttery yellow is, again, I think it's gonna be doing some highlighting on the dragon's scales on its chest here. I almost said chest hair. No, dragons have scales, not hair. <laughs> this, I believe, is the water behind the dragon, and I see some of the white AB in through here. I don't see any of the green yet. It's possible I'm overlooking it though, because let me tell you, trying to pick out a black and white symbol in a sea of black and white. Okay, here's the chartreuse AB is sprinkled through here. I think there's maybe some mossy rocks over here. As we keep going up, a little bit of the pale buttery yellow. This is the dragon's face. And I think here I see some of the pale buttery yellow as well. I think this might be part of the dragon. The drag has like, dragon has like duck lips, <laughs> which I think is amazing. Mm, I see two and three right here. So that is the white AB and the chartreuse AB. Not totally sure what's happening back here. Again, and some more of the chartreuse AB through here. Again, I think maybe a mossy rock. Let's go back and look at the original art and be like, no, Katie, that was totally wrong. Back here, are some of the white and the chartreuse ABs. Again, I think that pale yellow is mostly limited to the dragon himself, him or herself. Uh, lots of the white AB, this is through the waterfall. So that white AB is doing some highlighting where the water is like cascading down. And then, I told you we were gonna like really show off everything about this artwork. A little bit more of the chartreuse AB up here. Again, I think there's some greenery on the sides that we're seeing some of that AB in. And there we go. So, um, it's very likely I missed some of these ABs, you guys. So uh, I think you'll probably forgive me though, knowing that this is just a little tricky to find those kinds of things to show you guys. So um, again, this is the mystery kit in the category Fantasy Dragon from Stanley Morrison. I'm gonna go ahead real quick and pop up that original artwork for you here one more time of our adorable rubber ducky dragon. <laughs> and you guys, as of the time of this filming, this kit is actually still in stock. So if you are still wanting to get your hands on this kit now that you've seen it up close and everything, go and take a look. I'll link to it below in the description. It may sell out at any time and it 
in, it is limited edition. So once it has sold out, they will not be bringing it back. So if you think you might want this kit, go and take a look and if it is still in stock, please jump on it. Please jump on it because I would be so sad if you missed out. I love that we're getting more and more of these adorable dragons from Stanley Morrison. His artwork is totally my vibe. And I think he has a huge variety of amazing different dragons and different themes that are gonna make for some really, really fun diamond painting. I think the colors in this are gonna be so much fun to work with. And even knowing with the images, I think it's still gonna be a really fun experience to see this come to life section by section because I don't know exactly which colors are gonna be in which sections. As you saw when we were going through this, a lot of the things happening on like the sides and the top, I don't know exactly what's there. So um, I'm not gonna sit there and be studying the original artwork while I'm going through this because I just will want to enjoy as much as I can, but I really couldn't resist this one. I love, love, love our little rubber ducky dragon and um, if you have this kit and just watch this so you can get a closer look at what to expect, I hope you enjoyed this video and this unboxing. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me during this spoiler-tastic mystery kit unboxing. I really enjoyed getting into this kit with all of you and can't wait to eventually get to this one. Though since I'm just now wrapping up another mystery kit, I think I'm going to need a bit of a breather, but definitely happy to have this in my stash and work on it at some point. So let me know if you have any questions. Please do me a favor and keep the comments relatively free of spoilers. Um, if you have any really specific spoilery questions, feel free to send me an email or a message on Instagram. So thanks guys for hanging out. Uh, if you're not already subscribed and want to see a whole lot more diamond painting content from me, I would love to have you. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. And you guys, if you had fun in this video with me, please hit the thumbs up on your way out. I would super appreciate it. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.